Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be giving you all the best PC optimization guide on YouTube right now. I'm going to be going through how you can optimize your graphics card, your CPU, your RAM, and your Ethernet or wireless connection so you can get insanely low ping, extremely high FPS, and your game delay will be so low, you'll never need to do another PC optimization ever again. So let's get into the tutorial. First thing we're going to be optimizing is our Fortnite settings. So if you go into here and put your window mode to full screen, mine's on windowed full screen just for the sake of this video so I don't keep black screening when I'm recording. Make sure VSync is off. If it's on, it's going to try and match your FPS to your refresh rate and you don't want this because it gives you high delay. Put your frame rate limit to your monitor's refresh rate. Rendering mode, make sure you're on performance mode. Then scroll down a little bit more. Turn view distance to near. Textures on low, meshes on low. And then you can put your FPS on or off, it doesn't really matter. Then go onto your volume settings and put your sound quality on low. And then where it says subtitles, click options and put this to off, this on extra small, Y, non and clear. After you've done this, go onto game settings and scroll all the way down until you see replays and turn all these off. And then you'll see energy saving right at the bottom. You want to turn both of these off because you don't want energy saving while you're playing your game because it'll just make it run slow and give you bad FPS. And then the final thing inside of the Fortnite settings, you're going to go onto the very right where it says account and privacy and scroll down until you see text chat and turn this off. After you've done all of these Fortnite settings, your game should already start to feel a little bit better, but we're going to move on to the CPU optimizations now, so let's go into these. So to start things off, we're going to be optimizing the CPU. So if you open your task manager and go on performance, you should see the processors right here. You want this to be the lowest it possibly can, so around 100 to 120 or 30. So I'm going to be giving you guys some optimizations right now on how to lower this. So the first optimization we're going to be doing, you're going to click the search icon and search up system configuration. Click on boot, advanced options, tick number of processors and then click the maximum number. That's all you need to do on here. Don't mess around with any of these settings and that's the first optimization done. The next thing for optimizing your CPU, you're going to search for background apps and make sure you turn off background apps. This will stop apps running in the background and give more CPU usage towards your game and not other apps that are running in the background. The next thing, you're going to just click the little arrow in the bottom right here and make sure you don't have a bunch of things open while you're playing. So say you have like Google open or your keyboard software you don't want these open while you're playing because it's just going to waste more CPU usage on other apps instead of your game so you're going to be stuttering and getting low FPS so make sure if you've got a lot of apps open that are unneeded you right click them and you click quit on every single app you don't need and your game will be running much smoother the final optimization we're going to be doing for the CPU is searching for the device manager. Scrolling down until you see system devices and then finding high precision event timer and disabling the driver. This will just give you lower latency and make your FPS higher. So disabling this will give you a huge boost while you're playing. Now for the graphics card optimizations, the first thing you want to do is open your Nvidia control panel and then just follow everything I do here. So you're gonna open adjust image settings with preview, click use my preference here, then you're gonna drag this to performance and click use the 3D image settings again. Then you're gonna click take me there and then you're gonna copy all of these settings and I'll scroll through them slowly so you can copy them. Thank you. 
once you've copied all these you're going to click configure surround here and then you're going to put the processor here to your graphics card and then after this this is preference if you go on adjust desktop color settings and drag the digital vibrance up to 80 percent this will make your game look better it'll just make the colors a lot more vibrant but after you've done all these you can click off the nvidia control panel and we'll move on to the next step the next thing we're going to do is right click on the desktop and click display settings scroll all the way down until you see graphics settings and turn off hardware accelerated gpu scheduling it says if you turn it on you'll get lower latency and improved performance but it actually doesn't work because i've tested it out so turn this off and you will actually get a smoother game and also add fortnite to high performance here if you don't know how to do this click browse and find where your fortnite's located and then click it and then you click options and set it to high performance now we're going to be searching for game mode settings and making sure game mode is turned off and then you're going to click game bar and make sure game bar is turned off now for the final graphics card optimization you're going to click the search bar and type in advanced system settings click in performance settings and then click adjust for best performance and then custom and then you're going to enable animations in the taskbar show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts after doing this click apply and then ok when this is loaded now we're going to be moving on to the ram optimizations so the first optimization we're going to be doing is enabling xmp in the system bios i'm going to have to switch to my phone to show this because i can't record in my bios so i'll see you there so to get into the bios you're going to click restart and then when your computer starts restarting you're going to spam delete or f2 just click both of them at the same time and then you'll definitely get into the bios but for me you just click delete so as it's loading up start spamming it just keep mashing it as quick as you can and then you'll take you to this page so once you're in here it'll say xmp here you just want to click this and enable it and this is enabling xmp once you've done this save and exit and then click ok and then your pc will load back up and your xmp will be enabled now you've enabled xmp the final thing we're going to be doing to our ram is changing how much is used on other apps and not on your game so to do this search for the advanced system settings click settings here and then advanced and then change click the drive your game is selected on and then put both of these to 4096 and once you've done this click set ok and then you can click out of this and that's your ram fully optimized now for the ping optimizations you're going to search for ethernet settings click change adapter options here click your ethernet here and click properties and then scroll down to you see internet protocol version 4 and then click use the following dns server addresses and type in 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 on the top one and 8.8.4.4 .4 on the bottom one after you've done this click ok and ok and this should change your dns to the google's recommended dns server giving you lower ping while you're playing after doing this go back onto the ethernet settings and make sure you right click this and go on to configure go on to advanced and then find energy efficient ethernet and turn this off then scroll down until you see speed and duplex right here and put this on auto after scroll all the way down until you see these wake on magic packet settings and disable all these making sure they're all off once you've done this click ok and you can exit out of all of these and that's your wi-fi or ethernet fully optimized if you did all the pc optimizations that i told you guys to do then your ping should be lower your fps should be higher 
and your delay should be much lower than before. So if this video did help you out guys, make sure to like and subscribe as it helps me out a ton. But I hope you have a nice day guys.